Happy Wednesday. How you doing? How you doing today? Hey, I want to talk to you today about, I want to answer a question a lot of people have. A lot of people have this question. Can a Christian have a demon? A demon. I'm going to answer that question, including what demons are. Amen. Because you have to know what they are. I'm going to answer that question. Can Christians actually have a demon? Let's, let's look at that question. This, this is really going to be good. You may be surprised by the answer. Amen. Hey, say this with me on this happy Wednesday. The rest of my life is the best of my life. The best of my life is the rest of my life. Everything works out for me. I am smart and getting smarter every day. I am extremely talented. Everything works out for me. God will provide. You should say every single day, you should say the rest of my life is the best of my life and everything works out for me. You would be amazed at how things would fall into place. Everything falls into place for us. No matter what it is, where we're going, what we're doing, who we're associated with, nothing else matters. Everything works out for us. No matter what pops up. I just, the first thing I say is everything works out for us. Everything works out for us. And it does. Wouldn't you love to just have everything work out for you? You can. You got things going on with your job? I declare everything works out for you. A lot of you will notice that when you call me for prayer, when something's going on, I will also say everything works out for you because that is a very powerful thing to say. And I say it. And when I speak it, it does work out for you. People call me, well, Jim, Pastor Jim, it worked, it worked, it worked. Yes, it works. God's word works. It works, it works, it works. Amen. Say that. God's word works. Even Abraham and Sarah found out God's word works. They had a baby when he was 100 and she was 90 years old. And why, why, why did that happen? Because God's word works. It works. No matter. God's word says, you're healed by the stripes of Jesus. That works. God's word says, he will provide all your needs. That works. God's word says that Jesus became poor so that we could be rich. Which the word rich means more than enough that you would have enough to pay your bills and money left over. That's rich. Now, there's different degrees of rich, but that's rich. If you've got $10 left over at the end of the month, you're better off than 50% of the people in this country. And this is the richest country in the world. Amen. So you should be rich. I don't make any bones about it. I'm rich. I have more money than I need. I have my bills paid and I have some extra money at the end of the month. And folks, let me tell you something. Where I come from, that's rich. Glory to God. Call me today if you need prayer. We'll get your prayers answered. And make sure you call me to, to have me speak the word for word blessing over you when you do your offerings and donations today. And if you didn't get your weekly blessing yet this week, call me today. Let's get you blessed. Our partners call me usually, almost always, once a week to get the blessing. Now, some of you will wait till Friday because Friday's offering day. If you do, that's okay. If you wait till Friday to get your weekly blessing, that's okay too. As long as that blessing is spoken over you on a regular basis because God commanded the ministers, the priest, of which I am a priest, or a pastor. The word's interchangeable. I am a priest and a pastor, and God commanded us to speak that blessing over people, and so I do. And he said, when you do, I will bless them. I said, okay. 
So I do, and he does. He's obligated to. Once I speak that blessing over you folks, God is absolutely obligated to bless you. And I hold him to it. If you're not being blessed, I want to know why. Amen. Hey, I want to, let's get into this. I want to talk to you today about, answer the question, can Christians have a demon? Can they have a demon? Now, understand what a demon is. A demon is a disembodied spirit of some kind. Here's the book, How to Break Curses. Tells you all about them. If you don't have this book, get it. Or wait uh, till we do a giveaway and then get one. But make sure you have this book. Everybody in the country should read this book. Amen. There are 197 verses in the Bible where Jesus was either dealing with demons or teaching us about them. Now, 197 verses. Now, some of them are duplicates in the different Gospels, and that's okay. But 197 times uh, verses in the Bible, you will read about demons and curses. So, why isn't the pre why aren't the preachers talking about this? They should be. Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law so that the blessing of Abraham can come upon the Gentiles. That's us. The Gentiles are everybody who is not Jewish. Everybody who is not Jewish are considered Gentiles. And Jesus made the Gentiles eligible for the blessing because before Jesus came, the Gentiles were not us. I would not have been eligible for God's blessing. But Jesus made it so. We were taken in, brought in, grafted in, the Bible says, adopted. We're adopted. And an and and adopted person has the same rights and privileges of a natural birth child which is the Jews. Amen. So we're adopted in. Glory to God. Now, the question is, these disembodied spirits, what they do is they cause sickness, they cause disease. They're, they're, they're all over the place. But let me tell you something, folks. Listen very carefully. A demon cannot just pick out somebody to attack. He is always working on assignment. A demon always works by assignment. If you're having, if you're being harassed by a demon, he's been assigned and he's been given permission to do that. Now, the question, can a Christian have a demon? Yes, Christians can have demons. I'll answer another question you're wondering about. And I know what you're thinking. Can a Christian be possessed by a demon? No. A Christian cannot be possessed. In order to be possessed, the demon would have to be in your spirit, inside your spirit, and inside your head to totally control you. That's possession. Christians cannot be possessed because the Spirit of God is living inside you. But a Christian who has cancer, understand that sickness and disease are caused by demons. And how this works, checking my time here, how this works is a, a tumor starts out as something like tiny, tiny, and then it grows inside you. Well, inside that tumor is a spirit giving it life. Amen. Amen. And it's like inside your body is your spirit. Well, inside that tumor is an evil spirit or a demon. If you've got a growth on you and you've got a tumor in you, 
or you've got an infection in you, know that there is a demon in it. It's so simple to get you healed. All you have to do is get a hold of somebody like me or Kenneth Copeland or Creflo Dollar or Jesse Duplantis, somebody like us who can cast that out. Jesus said, these signs, miracles, shall follow those people who have faith in my name. Mark 16, verse 17. When that demon is cast out, that tumor dries up and goes away because it has no life in it. I We had a guy brought to us one Wednesday evening in his pajamas, dying of cancer, dying of cancer. Now, he had several demons, several demons. When somebody is dying of sickness, there's always several demons there. The first thing they did was they laid him down on the couch and propped him up. Do you like that? And I walked over to him. And I said, in the name of Jesus, I command that spirit of death to leave you. Death is a demon. The spirit of death comes on these people. And I can see it. I can, I can, I know it's there. I tell it to leave. Then I said, you spirit of infirmity, you spirit of sickness inside that cancer, come out and go away in Jesus' name. Then I touched him. I said, be healed in the name of Jesus. Well, then we went about our business at our service. We were having a home fellowship on Wednesday. Wednesday night, we have our, our, our midweek services at our house. And so we went on and had our, our service. And, and an hour later, this guy's up walking around. His whole countenance has changed. His look has changed. He's, he's actually walking around under his own power. This guy couldn't take a step before. And Sunday morning, he comes back. He's dressed, driving his own car. Went back to the doctor. And the doctor said, after they did the MRI on him, they said, yes, you still, you have a large tumor inside your belly from your colon. But there's no life in it. It's just laying there in your stomach. I said, leave it alone. It will go away. It'll dry up. It did. It just dried up. They didn't have to do surgery on him. That big tumor like that was inside his belly. Just dried up. Because the life was out of it. The demon came out of it. Now that's how we get people healed. That's how Jesus got people healed, folks. Jesus healed all who were oppressed of the devil. People who are sick are not possessed, but they're oppressed of the devil. People who were broke have a spirit, a demon of poverty. So when people call me and say, Pastor Jim, I'm broke. I say, you spirit of poverty, leave in Jesus' name. First thing I do is get rid of the evil spirit. Then I say, be made prosperous in Jesus' name. And their finances increase if they keep their mouths shut. Amen. How simple. Folks, I'm telling you. Please, this is so simple. Don't trip over it. You let me do this and then keep your mouth shut and your whole life will change. Amen. And then I speak the blessing over you. Word for word, just to top it off. That's the last thing in the world the devil wants is for you to be blessed. I am out of time. Please call me today if you've got anything going on. If you think you've got a demon harassing you, you're not possessed. You're not an evil person. Somehow or another, it's gotten in there. You call me and I will get rid of it for you through the power in the name of Jesus. Subscribe to our YouTube channel here. Hit that subscribe button. Tell everybody you know about these videos. I don't want anybody to be sick or broke. And I will use the power in the name of Jesus to make it happen.